Hey guys, welcome back. Today Apple released iOS 11.2.5 beta 1 to developers. So earlier today, Apple actually released iOS 11.2.1, and now today we see 11.2.5 beta 1. So I did make a video on 11.2.1 because it wasn't really a major update, but here we have a brand new beta 1 release for developers. And uh, let's take a look and see uh, what's new, if anything has changed uh, in this update. I don't know what happened to the other updates, 11.2.2, .2, and 0.4. Apple just jumped to 0.5. Uh, if you ask me, I thought it should have been 11.3, but uh, hopefully we will see that update uh, sometime in the future. Uh, I did update, uh, I did take a screenshot, I mean, of my capacity before updating, 50.04 gigs. And look at this, after updating, 51.83. Now this is before I had downloaded 11.2.5, because when you download the update file, it takes up some space on your phone. This is actually before I hit the, I hit the install or the download button and I had 50.04 gigs and I gained uh, almost two gigabytes. So this update really cleared out some of those cached files in the background and I'm really happy that now I have 51.83 gigs. Um, I have a lot of capacity available anyway, but it is nice if you have a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff on your phone, these updates are clearing out some of the junk in the background. So we were thinking that this update would bring iMessage in iCloud. And if I jump into settings here and I go into messages, it's still not in here. I don't know why. I think Apple took iMessage and iCloud out in like iOS 11, the original iOS 11 beta around beta 5, beta 6 sometime in the summer, like in August, and it hasn't come back yet. We just saw Apple introduce uh, Apple Pay Cash, which is peer-to-peer -peer payments only in the US. They released that just like a week ago, and we still haven't seen iMessage and iCloud. Apple removed it to fix some bugs. I wasn't having any bugs, but Apple took it out anyway, and we still don't have it, even on 11.2.5. So the final release of 11.2.5 might bring iMessage and iCloud. Um, it just seems silly. Apple uh, talks about these major features, and iMessage and iCloud was one of the, the big ones I was excited for, and they don't release it for months. So I don't know what they're trying to fix. I don't know what they're doing, but it still isn't here. So we can actually stay in settings, and we can go to general, and the build number is 15D5037E, so a pretty long build number, and it does end in a letter, so you do know that this is a beta and not even close to a final release. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. There's, there's uh, no new wallpapers, nothing new, no new uh, UI enhancements or animations or anything. This isn't really that big of an update, and possibly uh, it's why Apple didn't call it 11.3. The only thing I did notice is up here at the time, uh, on the top left, for some reason before on previous versions of iOS, there was always that little location indicator filled in or not filled in. It was always there no matter what. If an application was using my location or not, now that is actually gone. Now it just shows the time, it looks a bit cleaner. I actually thought Apple might have made the time smaller or shifted it to the right, and then I just discovered that they took away that location indicator on the top left. So I don't know if that's a bug they fixed where it only shows up when an app is using your location or if they just don't put the location indicator uh, on the top left anymore. So yeah, tell me if you have an iPhone 10 if you are not seeing that location indicator anymore on the top left. Other than that, guys, that is pretty much it for iOS 11.2.5. Uh, if you have installed it, tell me how it's running on your device in the comments below. My name is Mike. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.